So, someone in one of my previous videos' comments asked if I could try and run Overwatch 2 on my A770 on Linux. I can't find the comment now, but I thought it was a good idea and made this video. Even though this series is really supposed to be taking a look at older games on an A770 Linux combo, I thought I'd show how a multiplayer game, I guess this is a battle arena game, could run on Linux. So let's get to it, shall we? So I'll start off at 1080p low. So right now, we start off at 400 frames per second and get to as low as 320 frames per second, visually tracking and following Tracer. Of course, there's a lot of aliasing, and I guess I should have adjusted whatever anti-aliasing settings there were, but I just went with the presets. Let's take a look at Overwatch 2's performance on the 6700 XT. Wow, about 100 frames more at the start of a multiplayer game. Around 350 frames per second learning how to sprint in the training area on the ARC playthrough. Alright, let's take a look at the game at 1080p Epic. Here's the settings for the A770, and here's the settings for the 6700 XT. Big drop in frames, but no aliasing. It looks pretty nice, but 140-ish to 171 frames per second, tracking and following Tracer. I do a bit of shimmying to see if the frame rate stays consistent, and they do. While moving forward, you can activate sprint to run faster. Try it now. You cannot fire your weapon while sprinting. In addition to sprint, you also have the ability to heal yourself with biotic field. To demonstrate it, I need to damage you slightly. Now, deploy a biotic field. I recorded some play during battle with uh, AI on both the A770 and the 6700 XT. Let's take a look. For the most part, the A770 keeps at around 120 to 130, sometimes it reaches 140 frames per second at 1080 Epic, while the 6700 XT stays in the area of about 170 to 200 frames per second. Every soldier needs a cause. <sighs> I'm 
mother's work is never done. These seem like pretty reasonable numbers for eye candy mode, but I guess people who play esports want as many frames as they can get. Let's maybe move on to 1440p. In the training area on the A770, we see a range of between about 270 to 300 frames per second on 1440p low. I said maybe previously because my understanding regarding games like the Overwatch games, people play at 1080, normally 1080 low, to get as many frames during gameplay as their system will allow. Of course, a higher performing GPU is usually bottlenecked by the CPU drawing frames. At 1440p, the frame rendering workload shifts primarily to the GPU. Now that GPUs like the A770 and the 6700 XT, maybe the 7700 XT, which is a bit more powerful, crank out 3 to 500 plus frames per second, will esports players switch to 1440p? Anyways, in this playthrough, in various settings at 1440p low, the A770 stuck around the range of 280 to 300 frames per second in the training area, and the 6700 XT stayed in the range of about 450 to 500 frames per second for the most part in arena play. Let's take a look at the game at 1440p Epic. 
Here's the graphic settings for the A770, and here's the graphic settings for the 6700 XT. They should be the same. It certainly seems like the two cards are performing pretty similarly here in the beginning of the training area. The A770 is pretty consistent throughout. You can continue watching if you watch this far, thank you. Or you can skip to the conclusion from here. So Overwatch 2, as well as its multiplayer mode, works on Linux and it works well enough on Intel Arc. Once again, this card currently performs about a tier to a tier and a half below the 6700 XT on Linux. Right now, you can get an A770 for $280 to $300 and they go on sale for $230 to $250 when retailers get tired of looking at them on shelves, while 6700 XTs are going for around $300 when on sale. One thing to consider is that the A770, which should handle Overwatch 2 about the same, considering the game doesn't use an overwhelming amount of memory, is going for $210 normally, and maybe $180-ish when on sale. So, that scales a bit better than the A770 relative to the 6700 XT performance-wise, if your mother is asking you if you have 6700 XT money. The card makes for a decent Overwatch renderer, but if you watch my XC driver wishlist video, you'll see that Arc on Linux doesn't really play DX12 games right now. So consider that. That's about all. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like my content. And until next time.